Welcome back to another video. Do you remember our awesome little cubic mini wood stove in the Scamp? Well, we just installed a brand new one in our micro off-grid A-frame cabin. Not this one. We're actually currently inside of an Adobe home getting some creative ideas for our faux Adobe house. You'll see that video soon, but for now let's go backwards to the day that we installed our cubic mini grizzly in a side of our A-frames. This unique install required a lot of parts and pieces. Thank you so much to Cubic Mini Wood Stoves for loading us up. This grizzly is a few inches bigger all around than the cub that we have in the scamp. We went for the grizzly this time around for the slightly larger burn box, allowing larger chunks of wood to be burned inside. These little tools are the cutest. Not only cute, but these little tools are extremely necessary for these little stoves. Eco fan, these things are awesome. All the fire starters fell out of this box. I guess these are, you use them one at a time like this? Replaces kindling, great for wood stoves, outdoor fires, and charcoal grills. One light, I've never seen these before. And some cubic mini mugs, look how cute. And then these are the hyper insulated pipes. So the uh, three inch pipes, I believe go inside of these. So we are thinking that the wood stove will go somewhere like right around here. And then the pipe will punch up there. Okay. In our experience, it's important to off gas these stoves outside for a few hours with a really hot fire. Once you do start burning the stove inside, you probably also want to keep some windows open for the first couple runs too. It stinks. Hey. Hello. We called on our neighbor James for some help with this unique install. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Hey, you. You're a little too rambunctious for your own good, aren't you, huh? This is how your stove sets are Correct. Done. Yeah. James and Doreen are doing really well. They're still living in their bus, and you'll be seeing more of them in videos now that the warm weather projects are starting back up again. Okay, my idea was to drill through here with that cable and then crimp it right here and then go with one cable here and one here. Uh, and so it'd be like a triangle coming down on that's each right. side. That's right, and then it'd be the same thing here. Okay. Then we'd just take one attachment point here back to the, to the wall. wall. Right. And it would give you the feeling that it was hanging completely off of those cables, which would really look cool. Right. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? How you look back at the camera like, yeah, that's a cool well, I was looking at that. <laughs> I know you were, but it <laughs> will look like that to the camera. <laughs> this, this isn't gonna be nearly as cumbersome as we were thinking? No. Is that too low for you? I don't think so. That's about where you're going to want to be. Because then we can use that two by to tack on to the top. And then just go up around it like this. This is problematic. Yeah. Hey, we can handle it though. <laughs> You'd make such a good kindergartner. I think I made, yeah, I did make a pretty good kindergarten because they let me do it. <laughs> and that's about kid. when it stopped. <laughs> <laughs> I was bored after kindergarten. I can see right now we're going to have to cut it wider on top. Because it should look more like this bottom. See how that bottom looks? This will get us really close. You know that cardboard's terrible hard on cutting tools. Now let's set this over there and see how we look. <laughs> Okay, look at that hole. Isn't that cool? 11 and 3 quarter, that's what it's going to be. Yep. So that's what we need to do. We need to put this on the roof and mark that and it'll be a perfect fit. See, this will go on here like that. Well, once you decide exactly where we want it, we'll, we'll double check this all for width. We'll cut that hole in there. No, this is going to look great. We're going to get this dead on the first time. You think? I mean, it's probably. <laughs> I mean, you normally nail it, right? We made a mistake or two. <laughs> Cut that out. Okay, you ready to punch a hole? You got a tin of snips? 
Okay, so I'll just cut out to it and then. Yeah, cut it, cut it out. Thank you so much. I was just making sure I was thinking right. You, you, you actually force it. Watch this. What do you mean? Here, I'll show you. You kind of pull, pull up on it. Oh, okay. See what I mean? Uh-huh. Once you get going up, you don't need to do that. But it's when you're crossing the bridge. Yeah. That's when you have to kind of get, get forceful with it. Kind of halfway right. There you go. There's nothing, we hope it's right. Perfect, arts and crafts. I mean, it's looking pretty good though. It's pretty good. We cut the outside tin to sit as close to the five inch insulated pipe as possible and cut back the combustible insulation and plywood on the inside to give at least an inch of clearance all around. Yeah, it's sharp. The angle is. That angle is messing with your mind. Isn't that looking good? Yeah, How and you're right, top? we do need to cut off some up here. Yeah. yeah this is, you like this talking gun? I don't know any different, really. Okay, yeah, I don't like it. There's better ones. The thing is, what's wrong with this is see how steep the handle is? Mm -hmm. They make them that the handle's back here so you don't have to have your hand spread out near as far. Makes a big difference on caulking. Here, I got you. I'll be on. Well, the one that's not tapered. This guy. Each one of these holds the the weight. Uh, you can't slide. Then we're doing front and back now. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Okay. Okay. See, this will go back there. This will go here. This will go there. Sweet. That'll be cool. Yeah. At the end of each of these cables, we secured a washer. When put in place, they securely hold the stove, but can be removed easily if necessary. She's solid now. Cool. <laughs> Looks guilty. Yeah, there you go. Cool. In the scamp, we only had two sections of stovepipe. For the A-frame, we had six. The top of the pipe needs to be above the tip of the A-frame to prevent backdraft and get the best draw for the stove, leaving us with a wibble-wobbly stove pipe that needed to be secured. James advised us to get some conduit pipe and bend it into long L's like this. We attached one end to the roof and secured both L's to the stove pipe with an adjustable hose clamp. None of this is permanent so that we can get the stove pipe down to clean periodically. And this is the mostly finished result. The stove is supposed to have a 20 inch clearance from walls, so Cubic Mini sent over a side plate that we have since attached. There is nothing like a wood burning stove inside your home and we love how our floating stove turned out. It adds so much character and joy to this space and you better believe that once we finish our house, we're gonna have a Cubic Mini wood stove in our bedroom too. Check out the link in the description to learn more if you would like a cubic mini of your own. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see more tiny wood stove content, check out our winter camping videos in the scamp. See you in the next one. Mount Laurel high five for miles in spring.
fame, drought, and hummingbird.